23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Two men and a teenage boy have been arrested for a deadly shooting that happened late last month. According to BPD, it arrested 19 year olds Parrish Stinson and Mark Milner, along with a 17 year old boy. They're accused of killing Raul Dominguez. BPD says it happened around 9 p.m. on May 31st on East California Avenue. Officers responded to reports of shots fired and found Dominguez inside a vehicle. He died at the scene. Basque restaurant Wool Growers has decided to close temporarily because of an employee testing positive for COVID-19. That's according to a post on the restaurant's Facebook page. Wool Growers says it will be closed for a few days and the establishment said all employees will be tested and it will reopen once every employee's COVID-19 test results are in. The post saying, quote, we know this is inconvenient for those who have made reservations, but we feel it's important to ensure that we are taking proper precautions for everyone's safety. Bakersfield police say the search for a five-year-old boy who went missing earlier this month has been found safe and is unharmed. BPD said Damian Reese was found unharmed in Idaho by the police department there. When Damian went missing, it was believed he was in the company of Patricia Crocker, who was the girlfriend of his legal guardian, who is now in the custody of law enforcement. BPD, however, has not released any other information on the case, and it has not been confirmed who Damian was with when he was found. And we're still tracking hot weather in the forecast. Heat advisory, of course, remaining in effect through the day on Saturday. So several more days of uh, triple digit heat in the forecast. Certainly tomorrow, no exception. 103 for us here in Bakersfield. McFarland as well. 101 at Taft. 90 at Tashby. 99 at Keene. And 102 at Kernville. So some high temperatures all across the board. Air quality remains uh, where it has been for the past several days. Right in that unhealthy for sensitive groups range with an AQI of 129. Seven day forecast does have some good news in it. It's going to take a while to get to that good news, but it's definitely there. 103 to 104 for the next four days all the way through Saturday. Then we get a cooler air mass starting to push in. That'll take us down all the way to the upper 80s by the time we get to Monday with some models actually suggesting we get a little cooler than that. And we're certainly going to get a little cooler than that for our mountain communities. Again, temperatures start to fall off on Sunday, even some 70s by the time we get to Monday. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.